in case you came across this by chance by shares by you know by recommendation now i want you to be able to watch this video from the beginning to the end i want you to like i want you to subscribe okay so let's go that's not so welcoming is it okay anyways and yes another thing is i also have a surprise to share with you hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Rodi Alawa in case you're seeing me for the first time hello hi welcome okay so around here i'm sharing beauty and lifestyle related content for you and anything else that i feel like i think you also need to know about okay so today's video has been a long overdue considering the fact that i'm coming to talk about my favorite 2020 beauty products and i know it's february yes but it's rather late than never okay um shout out to you all beautiful ladies for checking on me you know from the last time for my um video you guys saw my eye situation thank god and thank you for checking on me i think it all feels better now yeah and thank you so you can tell i'm actually excited for this one because i get to share my honest honest opinion about all these products if you use your money to buy something and then you can't really give your honest opinion about it then i think you're not helping yourself because truly there's always room for improvement therefore this is not going to be a bs it's just going to be me sharing my honest thought all the products that i'm coming to share with you i would always reach out to these products every time every time and i was just like okay it's about time i share all these products and most of these products are not new products for 2020 i am only sharing them because this is the time that i've used them the most and i just try to like share my opinion with you all right so i hope you enjoyed this one if it is useful to you kindly let me know in the comment section okay and i will try my best as much as possible to describe the look and feel of all these products so what i'm coming to talk about is going to give obviously a quick review of the product the look and feel of the product which could be the packaging and the way it just delivers and also the price point so there are going to be options right and also the expectation what the product was supposed to do did i get what i really need to get from this product okay okay so it's going to be quite a lengthy one because i'll be touching base with hair and body care and the makeup and then skincare so instead of keeping all of them together as one i would just rather split them therefore the video doesn't get too long because honestly your girl is trying to keep her content short not like short shots because i'm so detailed okay even though i'm talking too much <laughs> okay so but i'm trying to reduce the length of my content because i know we as individuals our attention span is so short i know and yes another thing is i also have a surprise to share with you so i'll be sharing the surprise at the end of the last video so i don't know what is coming last it could be the makeup it could be the body care it could be i mean anything stay tuned and be sure to watch all three videos just so you don't miss that information welcome back so here are all the products that i used in 2020 i mean not all of them but these are the ones that i used most yes most i feel like it's a lot of products but let's see how much energy i have in me to deliver all this to you guys all right so let's go so first off i'll be talking about hair care and body care 2020 was the year that i actually saved a lot on body care and i'm going to tell you why i decided that i was only going to stick to very simple products that was really effective yeah and i mean i really don't want so much ingredients for my body number one thing that i use on my body is black soap african black soap okay so originally we all know black soap to be from the yoruba land and black soap simply is not necessarily black soap but the yorubas call it oshe dudu 
Oshe means soap and dudu means black but really this soap is not black it's brown but it just translates that way and everybody has taken it as black soap and we love it anyway so now they even say african black soap through 2020 i noticed that i was reaching out to use only three brands for the for black soaps and um, i used naya african black soap i actually like this one a lot and then i used r and r luxury and then i used the skin gummy i'm so sorry i'm such a grandma i like to reuse 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 my plastics just so i save the planet okay before finally throwing them out so i'm trying to reduce plastic okay and you should do the same all right so i really like this product so much but there's still room for improvement i like my black soap to be slightly you know consistent maybe a little bit thick not thick 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 but i mean for you you can still dispense it from the you know what is this thing called you know from the cap let me put it like that and um, this was quite runny and another thing is this when you leave it for some time you notice there are some particles it's not like particles but there is the discoloration thing i want to believe it's from the cocoa cocoa pods ash that goes down so instead i think they should have indicated on the packaging shake before use i wish i still had some products in here um for me to demonstrate looking at this you can see how fat the dispenser is right it's quite runny but it still delivers because that's why the fact that it's running a few pumps gets you a full body ladder and i actually love it for that so now talking about the r and r luxury so i feel like this product i needed to just try it considering the fact that this brand actually gifted a lot of their products to cardi b back in december 2019 when she came to perform in ghana and i was just like if it's good enough for Cardi B, of course it's going to be good enough for me, okay? And actually before this period, I actually tried out one of their products and I'm also going to talk about it in a few. Okay, so I actually like this product. However, um, you can see that's the price there. So that's the price. It was 30 CDs. I'll be putting the quotation on the screen. And um, I actually, I was like, okay, not bad but this size is 250 this size is 500 so you decide what you want so the packaging really looks cute but then i feel like it's not the best packaging for this soap because dispensing this product was quite difficult you have to pump it for a long time before the product actually comes out and look oh, don't mind me if you see something in it this is oil in it i was trying to do the test to see how best it works with oil and it's actually a very good packaging for oils as compared to the black soap but then i looked at the package and it says liquid black soap for body and face so now you can actually go for a pass on this considering the fact that it can also be a face wash so if i was actually getting this because of the packaging i would use this for a face wash because again you don't need to dispense a lot of products for you to wash your face so this would actually pass for a first wash for me not a body wash because for body wash is going to waste my time in the bathroom and most time we don't we just want to shower and get out it's not a bathtub this one right here they also have the liquid form but when i wanted to purchase it i didn't like the way the liquid form was for the packaging for me i just felt like the packaging was not right for that product okay i'll probably put it on the screen for you to see the product was really looking thick okay but out of those three i would actually say i prefer this one because this was in a paste form i've not i checked this recently on their website but for some reason hmm for some reason i couldn't find it online so out of all three i preferred using this one most because this was in the paste form whereby you just need to pick up the black soap and you use it which means you could use it based on how much you need and you don't need to keep going back and forth or getting more pumps all three actually i love them i love them but again 
I noticed I was reaching out to this one more. The other soap that I also used was simple, simple. Oh my goodness. I love this one. So this has been my latest obsession. I think in the last, since August, 2020, I love this. <clears throat> Let me open this up for you. This doesn't have any harsh chemicals. Of course, the black soaps don't also. And it comes in two packet bars. And I just like this product because it has no color. It has no smell. It just feels right. And I just love it. And oh my goodness, the ladder for this soap. Woof. You can see it just says simple and really simple is simple. This ladders a lot. This actually rinses off pretty well without leaving any residue of soap. And this is very good for sensitive skin. I'm that kind of person that sometimes when I have my shower, after shower, I have that itchy feeling. And for some reason, I've tried over the years to figure it out. But since I've been using this soap, oh my goodness. It's done a lot, a lot. It's helped me out so, so well. For those items that I mentioned was for shower and um, for moisturizing. I just keep it simple. I use whipped shea body butter with um, this beautiful oil here. Look how pretty golden it is. Oh my goodness. So in case you don't know, this is baobab oil. Usually I always have it in 500 ml and then I deposit it into this little container. It is very good for hydration, gives you a very good moisture and glow. There is something about baobab oil and it is a non-comedogenic product, meaning it is good for both acne, prone skin, and if you also don't have acne. I love this oil so much. All right. So, okay. So now moving on to the next thing I'm going to talk about hair care. Although for religious reasons, you already know, you always see something on my hair, which means I may not be showing you my hair, but that doesn't mean I can share my products with you. Okay. So kindly respect that. Thank you so much. So for so long, I've always thought, I mean, my hair would never grow past whatever it is or what it was, which is some tiny little ponytail, something, you know, scanty, but little did I know that I could actually grow my hair. So for the past four years, I mean, okay. So quick flashback back in 2012, when I got pregnant with my daughter, I noticed significant change in my hair and I was like, Ooh, but little did I know that years down the line, that hair was about to multiply. And the thing is, I would not hide this. I have been using one particular product, which is Mizani. Mizani is such a beautiful name, right? It could be Radia Mizani. <laughs> joking. Anyways, so Mizani is that product that, I mean, a friend just told me about it. I've always, always tried professional range of hair care products. I tried Nairobi. I tried which other one? I think Kera Care, but Mizani. Oh my goodness. And I always go for professional care products because again, I am not a DIY hair for hair. I mean, I could DIY for any other thing. I mean, other things that interest me, but DIY my hair myself, I don't like it. As an African lady, you know that even for you to wash your hair, you would prefer to go to the salon. And that was just kind of my thing because I actually love, love, love getting my hair done or washed by another person because I love, love, love a very good head massage. So it's become something therapeutic for me. But for the past two and a half years, I have actually, I'm still using Mizani, but then I maintained one person doing my hair for some reason. I just prefer I mean, one person getting, touching my hair, but hmm, things got better. I'm going to put the range of products that I use for Mizani in the description box. So I've been able to grow beautiful, silky, bouncy, healthy hair with no splits. I mean, what more could you ask for? My hair is in a better place and it's going to get better. 
if I continue. So another thing that I did was I did a lot of protective styling. So I have cornrows on. So I keep that for a good amount of time. And um, maybe after I take it out, I might just end up treating my hair. There is this product called um, Bond Force from Mizani treatment for breakage, so I avoid breakage. But I think also what most of their products actually for, um, features is protein, and protein is good for hair. And you can actually get protein in coconut oil. Also, I get to use coconut oil in my hair sometimes but again i don't really like getting in my hair but when i really 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 need to i put coconut oil and i also put baobab oil in my hair and honestly i love the way the hair feels even when my hair needs another touch up what i use is their touch up i go and touch up that thing that i noticed with mizani is that mizani is not one of those products that you can easily approach to use it yourself i think they will always train you how to use it for you to get the best best results and honestly i love 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 this product until like two months ago whilst i was doing my touch up and then i was just like okay let me even take my time to really read ingredients in this product oh my goodness yeah some of their products has parabens in it <laughs> it's got parabens in it and parabens is just one of those ingredients that i really don't want again personally i mean go for it mizani is is an amazing product honestly and um considering the fact that right now I'm trying to look for something else, but I've actually not had the time to look for something else. But I might not change it right now, considering the fact that I only do my touch-ups two times a year. So I only, again, get to use parabens, that's parabens in my hair, two times a year. So it's not too much at the end of the day, but I would be looking for a swap very soon it's also another brand that i use at home for my daughter this is um kiss my face these are organic products and i mean i just want to keep it natural with her because her hair is 100 percent natural not gone through any heat and you know relaxers and stuff in as much as she always tells me oh i want my hair to be like your hair but yes so far i actually love those products oh that's it for her and yes thank you for this segment i will see you in the next segment and guess what before you go don't forget to subscribe okay and like thank you i'll see you in the next video okay see you soon